what do you do when you're in a tricky lighting situation where the background is more bright than the foreground? You shoot in AEB. Auto exposure bracketing shoots three or five photos simultaneously in different exposures. One that is underexposed, one that is properly exposed, and the other that's overexposed. And then you can combine or merge these photos in post into one photo or HDR. Welcome to yet another video. This is Farhan. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. I'm going to demonstrate why it's important to shoot an AEB in certain lighting situations and show you the results of a single photo and an AEB photo merged into one. To begin, make sure you're in JPEG plus RAW to get the most flexibility in editing photos and choose 4 to 3 because this gives you the entire resolution to work with as compared to 16 is to 9 which is cropped in choose the photo option and then scroll down and select aeb in the examples i'm gonna demonstrate choosing three aeb photos now that we've got the photos let's head to lightroom to edit the photos individually and compare them to a merged hdr photo okay guys so we're in lightroom and i've exported these three auto exposure bracketing photos here in Lightroom. Now, I want you to just take a look at um, the exposures, right? They were taken quickly from the Mini 2 and in different exposures. So this really helps when you wanna get um, HDR photos or when you're not sure of the lighting, you know, to merge them into HDR. So instead of you manually adjusting the exposure, you the drone does it for you so this is a great tool you guys should use um so if you can see here um the exposure is one over 320th of a second and an aperture f 2.8 which is what the mini 2 is fixed at and if you look at this one the exposure is higher i mean uh lower but because it was shot at a higher shutter speed one over 800th of a second and this one is one over 500th of a second so you could say that this this photo it right here is in between the two so this one is the one that's properly exposed and this one is the one that's underexposed and this one is overexposed right so before we get into that, let me go to the photo that's um, properly exposed and let's just choose auto settings and that actually looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, it looks good because I mean, you, you're able to bring up a lot of details because um, it was it was shot in raw. As you can see, you can bring up the shadows more, but um, let, let's take a look at this one in auto. Dimmer, the sun looks much better in this as compared to the one that's properly exposed. Um, but there's still, um, the shadows are pretty low, but you can all obviously bring that up. Um, now let's look at this one where this is overexposed and hit auto settings here. This looks pretty good, but the sun is uh, a little too blown out. So, if you would ask me, um, let me just do auto settings for each one. Okay. So this is the one that's properly exposed. Um, it looks good, but I think the, the sun is a little bit um, overexposed here. Um, in this one, I think the sun is exposed well, but um, you know we're, we're gonna lose a lot of details in these areas in the foreground um in this one obviously the sun is blown out but we have a lot of details in the foreground so i'm just gonna command z and change the auto settings but anyway just for reference i will choose this one um in auto settings and export it so you guys can see the difference with this and uh when it's uh, merged into HDR.
and I'm gonna leave it at I'm gonna leave them in um, auto settings so. so what you do is you you select them all or command a and right click and go to photo merge and choose HDR Now that the preview is done, you hit auto settings and actually that looks much better. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna merge them and then I'm just gonna select auto settings. Or I should have just done it there. <laughs> anyway, uh, now that we're here, I am gonna choose auto settings and this looks pretty good. Take a look, the sun is exposed much better here. And I'm gonna export this one as well. Um, so this is another um, set of AED that I shot at the same location. So, pretty much the same thing um, this one is underexposed sorry that this is properly exposed this one is underexposed and this one is overexposed so three different shots so I'm gonna I'm gonna choose auto settings on the one that's properly exposed and that's what it looks like pretty good and this one is the one that's underexposed also looks good I, I really like the way the sun is exposed here and this one the sun is definitely blown out but so much more details and in, in the foreground so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna export this one so I can compare it with the HDR after so I'm just gonna hit export and done and I'm just gonna hit command Z to undo the auto settings on them all So here is another set of AEB photos, again in the same location. So this one is properly exposed if I'm not wrong. Uh, the exposure is 1 over 500 of a second. And the second one is, the second one is 1 over 800 of a second where the, the shot is underexposed. And this one is overexposed with a shutter speed of 1 over 320 of a second. So as usual, we've got three different shots in different exposures at the same location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose auto settings on all of them so you can see what it looks like. But this is the one that's properly exposed. And also do keep in mind that I did not use ND filters for these shots with the mini 2 Ooh, I really like the sun the way the sun is exposed I think that well I feel that in underexposed shots the sun just looks really really good but it's just the foreground that's the problem but you can always bring in the shadows but it's easier to deal with that when it's merged into HDR so this is the one that's overexposed obviously and the sun is definitely blown out here not too much but I mean just too much for my liking but everything else in the foreground is exposed pretty pretty well so what i'm gonna do is hit command c and undo these settings so i'm gonna select all and merge them into hdr click merge And here it is so I'm just gonna hit auto settings on this one and that looks 
really, really good compared to each one of the other uh, photos, single photos. So here, the lighting from each uh, photo was taken, the best parts of it, and merged into this HDR photo. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if it was helpful and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay safe. That's it for this video.